Hi, Michael. It's Colin. Just read your message about the uh, template skill set, some help and stuff like that. You know, it, it almost sounds like you, you said it might be out of your skill set. With the template, we've done a lot of the pre-designed pages, so you don't have to go and take things and pluck them in and out. And you know what? Believe it or not, everything's already in a code snippet. It's called a library file, right? Or in the page itself. I'll show you exactly where to get those snippets, if that's what you're referring to. Okay. So you want to create a blank page where you can put things in out. Well, you have to start with an existing page. The reason being is all the coding for the style sheets and the JavaScript and things like that are already in the page. Uh, just a point. The other thing I want to mention is it is a based on the Bootstrap or the Twitter Bootstrap CSS framework, right? So the more you learn about Bootstrap, the more things you can actually do with the template as well. Um, if you just go to getbootstrap.com, there's a lot of information in here um, just about the CSS framework uh, itself. So uh, I just wanted to point that out in case you weren't aware. Okay, uh, back to your questions. Okay, so I'll copy the questions in here. So you said you wanted to know if we could section it. Well, I'll tell you what, it's already in sections. It's all done for you already. So maybe you just done under. You just I'll just show you where to go to to do that. Now you said by section I mean put the top navigation and the full screen slider in a snippet for me so you can modify it for your landing page. I'll tell you what, everything's already in a snippet. It's called a Dreamweaver asset or a library file. All right. Now let's take a look at the navigation for example. Right, right in the end, this is where the, the, the instructions will really help, and I'll show you where to find those. You said you'd gone through some of the help files, but uh, let's take a look at the top navigation and the index page. So I'm going to preview the index page in a browser first. There it is right there. So how do you modify this area up here so it's easy to do? Very simple. Open up your library folder. Open up the shared folder, and there's the menu top right there. That is the code snippet you would edit. It's not in directly embedded into the page itself. When you modify the menu top library file, this asset right here, it's going to update every single page that uses that asset, which is pretty much every page in the site. All you have to do is double click to open it, and there it is there. Now here's the trick, right? You can put your cursor on, the see the spry blue menu bar? Click that, make sure you have your properties panel enabled, and when you click that blue tab up here at the top of your page, it enables the Spry widget. First thing I recommend you do is get rid of the ones you're not going to need. In other words, when you're building a menu, don't try to modify what's there. Get rid of the stuff that you see in the demonstration and just build one from scratch. It'll take minutes. Watch this. Right? Get rid of the enhancements. So click Enhancements. Hit the minus button. Say yes. See the features? Hit the minus button. Yes. The reason we have all these bits and pieces in here, that's for you when you're previewing the page. And one of the things I explained in my tutorials uh, at the very beginning is before you even decide to start building your site, take a look at all the different pages in there. And, and a super easy way to do this is to just, like I said, open up the, the, the site and then use the menu to go through all the different pages so you can have a look. Okay, it's just a super fast, easy way for you to get familiar with all the different pages in your site. And it tells you up top in your address bar the name of the page, right? And uh, if we go, you know, column layouts, one column, it'll actually tell you if it's in a different folder, like a pages folder right here as a, as a shortcut. Right, so all this is done for you. Let's go back to Dreamweaver here. Right. So once you're familiar with the pages in your site, you don't need all this stuff in here. It's a lot easier just to get rid of it and start over again. Why? Because you have this widget, like so. So we start with the home page. So then we add the next page we want in our site. Okay, and let's go over here. We're going to call this uh, Collins page, just like so. Here's the link to the page. Guess what? We're going to use the Browse button here. And I'm going to go, and this is uh, about. I'm going to use that as my Collins page. Click OK. Boom, I just added another menu item. If I need a sub-menu under Collins page, then I would hit this link right here. Right? Then I change the name, change the link. If I need one more sub-menu, and I, I don't recommend going more than one sub-menu deep, although you can. The reason is, for mobile users, it gets confusing to navigate, even with the, with the, no, the mobile uh, menu that kicks into gear for mobile users, it still gets confusing having to hit little arrows and go back and forth. Try and limit your uh, your submenus to just one level if you can. All right, so that's updating the menu top. You see, it's a code snippet. 
You go in, you edit it, you save it, bang, it updates your entire site. Same with, guess what? If we're in the library folder, there's our sliders. Open it up, and there's our, um, which slider are we using here? I think it's the full screen slider, isn't it? Yep, that's the full screen slider. It says so right there. So we go to the full screen slider page, folder, open up the full screen slider code, if you want to refer to it as a code snippet, there you go. Boom. And there's all the text right there. So there's your, your, your title, there's your description, there's the little third line of blurb. But you want to change the images too. To change the pics, you just quickly flip over to the code window. And right here is slide number one. And you see where it says images? And then the number one right here? Well, that's the images folder. And that's the first image right there. You want to change the pictures, create your own picture, name it to one.jpg, drop it in the images folder, you're done. Or you can call it whatever you want put it in the images folder here and then just change the name of the image right there okay and there's also instructions online that really go through all of this with you so I just wanted to explain how the, the code snippets are already there for you so I was a little confused when I saw your message I went huh everything's already in a snippet so maybe I'm not understanding all right okay so those two things I just showed you where to go for those snippets for those that's going to update your entire site okay well put it this way the full screen slider is only going to update pages that actually use it which is the index page and it's like the uh, full screen slider page that's in your sliders folder right here right and you'd also like to ask uh, how to make a basic page that you can work with well we do have a lot of basic pages already designed for you in the site it's in the pages folder and we have the one two column left with a side menu two column left all the way up to four column these are absolutely basic pages let's open up the one column right here double click on it and this is the basic page you would start with right here and one of the things I recommend to you Mike is just hide the I like to hide the visual aids you don't really need to see all that junk when you're in the page but that's it just a basic page right here right with your menu bar and all the bits and pieces already intact if I hit my F12 key to preview it yeah. There it is right there. Okay. So now how you wanted to take a slider and let me just read your question again here. What's that? If you can make a basic page like that I can work with. By basic page I mean a top navigation and blank background. Uh, this way I could bring things into the page. Okay. So the one column right here in the pages folder is already done for you because a lot of customers ask for that sort of a thing what we did is we put blank content in the middle of the page though right right here this is the blank content right here now if you flip over to the code view I'll just show you how this is set up here so you can actually go into any site grab the snippet of code and paste it from one to another If I flip over to the a little trick here, right? Say I want to get change the the stuff in the page with something from another page. Just click on a piece of text and the, the very first piece of text in the area you want to change. Flip over to Code View and it's going to sort of highlight. Now everything within the every section or code snippet for the actual content of the page is wrapped in what we call a container. Here's the container tag right here. Okay. If I wanted to get rid of all the content, right, I could actually uh, select the entire container or any one of these bits and pieces right inside. And let me just go back to the design view and I'll show you. Right, if I just sort of click in here, right, I'm going to recommend you actually look for the section instead of the container. Leave the container in place. Right. See where it says section class box section? So when I go down here and hover over this thing here, I'm going to select it and delete it. Now I can go to another page, the About One page, for example. I'm going to go to my visual aids here. And let's say I want this type of a layout. Well, I'm going to put my cursor up here, and I'm going to look for... Does this select everything in the page? Yes, it does. That's the container there. Oh, you know what? I lied. 
not to confuse you, but maybe it would be easier just if you if you did go up to the container like I was mentioning to start with, because that's the thing that wraps around all the content in the middle of the page. So you could just simply get rid of that, go to another page, put your cursor in here, go look for the div container, do an edit and copy, go back to your column there and edit and paste. And then it just takes all the stuff from the other page and pops it right in there. So you can sort of take stuff from one page, one, one container, pop it in and pull it out. And that's basically the way it works, right? So I'm not sure if I answered your questions. Um, if you want me to make a couple more pages up for you, you just specify what you want on them. Take me a few seconds, not a problem. Um, but I wanted to show you what I would do. But I was just a little, I was more confused on this first one right here because with the code snippets and updating for your landing page um, I'm just going to go and log into your account here for a second and I just want to make sure if we go to the uh, when you very first log in here right uh, we go to the instructions tab um, and then the instructions button right here right there's a lot of information there probably the um, if you if you want I would say maybe just quickly run through the uh, prep, set, and go. Um, just take half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. Scan through that that information there. And this is some information I basically created for people that are brand new to our templates. And it has a little bit of a, you know, how they're put together, some tips and tricks and things like that to, to get started. Um, and you could probably, like, skip right down, you know, skip past the download and extract and go right to the planning and preparation part. All right, there's a bit of a video which goes on forever, you know, how to create a storyboard and then you know maybe there's some information here that'll help you out as well.